Hello to the Quorum Elementary School. Oh, wait a minute. Nobody's around me. I don't need this on. That's better. Hello to the Quorum Elementary School. I'm Dan LaSquadro, your highway superintendent. And since we're all home in quarantine, I thought I would bring the highway department to you. So I want to say a special thank you to your principal and especially to Nick Herzberg, who requested that I make this video. So we're going to talk to you a little bit today about what the highway department does and what a job here might look like. So the piece of equipment I'm sitting in right now is called a skid steer, or commonly referred to as a bobcat. And it's just one piece of equipment that we use when my employees are out in the field. This can be used for picking up piles of branches, dirt, moving things around. It's a very important tool for us, but we have lots of other things we use, much bigger equipment, like bulldozers, excavators, payloaders, 10-wheel dump trucks. But before I start this up, I just realized, safety first. That's better. All right, let's move some stuff. So how do you know when you're going when you're riding your bike around your neighborhood? Well, street signs, of course. But street signs aren't just the signs that say the name of your road. They're stop signs, turn ahead, yield, one way, no parking, lots of other things. Because the town of Brookhaven is so big, I have my own in-house sign shop that can manufacture those signs. And we have a dedicated crew that goes out just to repair and install those signs. So I'm here next to a pile of blacktop, which takes me to probably the most important thing, or, or certainly the thing you think most about when you think of the highway department, and that's paving roads. When roads get old and they start to break down and get potholes, we have to start by repairing them, especially during the winter when we can't repave roads. So my crews will go out, they'll patch up those potholes, they'll try to make the roads last as long as we can because roads are very expensive to repave. But when it comes time to repave the road, we'll have big equipment come in that grinds off that entire uneven surface of the road, and then pavers come behind and spread out fresh asphalt, compact it with 10 ton, sometimes even heavier, steam rollers, and we get a nice, smooth, fresh road that especially in your neighborhood should probably last 20 or 25 years before we have to redo it again. Again, this is probably the most important thing we do because we want to have a road that is good to drive on, is safe, is easy to maintain, easy to remove snow from. And when we're out there doing that paving, there are a lot of other things that we check and repair during that process. I'll talk to you about those things in just a minute. When the paving process for a road is going on, the things we have to check and make sure are in good condition and are functioning properly are the concrete. So if you have curbs or driveway aprons or sidewalks in your neighborhood, we make sure that they're not broken or damaged and we replace the pieces that we have to. But one of the most important things that we do when it comes to a roadway that you might not even realize because it's all under the ground is drainage. When all that rainwater comes down on the road, that water has to go somewhere. So we have storm drains all over the town. Some of them go into a big sump or a recharge basin, but a lot of them are just drains that dissipate that water into the ground. So what you see here next to me are the tops to those drains. And I'm sure you've seen these grates around. The water flows into those, goes into those drains. And what you have to remember is it's very important to never pour anything down these drains. Only water should go down them because here on Long Island, we get all our drinking water 
from under the ground. It's called an aquifer. And anything that goes into these drains goes into the ground and eventually makes its way into our drinking water. So protecting our groundwater through what we call stormwater management is something that I take very seriously. And it's something that you should because it goes into the water that you drink and therefore goes into your body. Well, yet another thing that the highway department is responsible for are street lights. Now you see street lights all over the town and some of them look different. Most of the ones you see look like this. They're mounted on utility poles with a big long arm behind them. And what you see under here is the actual light. And they're the same as these that go on top of a post. You'll see those through neighborhoods sometimes. And the light for that is under here. Now all of these lights now are LED or light emitting diodes. They last for many, many years. Just like the bulbs that people are putting in their houses now, they're much more efficient. The town is saving over half a million dollars a year already with the lights that we've converted to LED. It's going to be less maintenance for us. They won't burn out. We even get a 10 year warranty which means for a lot of you, by the time these are out of warranty, you may be graduated from high school already. So changing these lights out all across the town is a very big project that we're working on. And within the next two years, every street light in the town of Brookhaven will have been converted to LED. Very important project. I'm going to save taxpayers a lot of money, make things safer, and again, make the highway department more efficient. So another very important thing we do to keep the road safe is remove the snow. We have to plow it out of the way, and then sometimes you get ice forms underneath it, and what I'm standing on top of right here is a giant pile of salt. Not exactly the salt that you put on your food, but it's made out of the same stuff. It's big rock crystals that we spread out across the road that melts the ice, keeps the road safe, make sure cars don't slide off the road and have accidents. Keeping the road safe, not only for your parents and other people driving on the road, but very importantly for our police, our fire department, our ambulances, anybody who needs to go give help to someone who has an emergency. It doesn't matter if it's snowing, it doesn't matter if the roads are icy, those folks need to get there to help people and we need to make sure the roads are safe so they can do that. So one of the other very important things that we do to keep the roads open and safe is take down trees or remove trees that have either fallen in a storm or they're dead and they're posing a danger. So I have a tree crew that goes out and removes those trees, cuts them up and takes them away. And what you see here next to me is one of the trucks that the tree crew uses. It's called a self loader. It's basically a big dump truck with a crane mounted to it. And you see those grapple claws on there. It's, it's kind of like the claw from Toy Story. That crane is powerful enough to pick up an entire trunk of a tree and put it right into the back of that dump truck. It makes our crews much safer, more efficient, and allows us to get the job done faster so we can open those roads up and make them safe for the traveling public. Something you may not think about when it comes to the highway department is Fire Island. Now you would ask, why would the highway department have anything to do with Fire Island? But if you've been over to the communities within the town of Brookhaven on Fire Island, you walk along boardwalks or you go over a set of stairs to get down to the beach. Well, under New York State Highway Law, all of those boardwalks, all of those beach crossovers are the responsibility of the highway department. They are considered roads. So I have a full-time crew on Fire Island that is responsible for maintaining and repairing those boardwalks. And unfortunately, after we have big storms, a lot of times we have damage over there that needs to be replaced. After Superstorm Sandy, we had to replace a huge number of boardwalks, but thankfully the federal government gave us a lot of money that helped in that process and built them bigger and stronger so that the next time a big storm rolls around, we won't have to replace them and they won't get washed away. 
So I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about what the highway department does every day. We certainly couldn't cover everything that we do here, but we wanted to give you a little idea of what it's like to work in a department that has over 3,700 miles of road. You may not realize it, but the town of Brookhaven is as big as Nassau County. It's a lot of work to do, but the men and women who work for me work hard every day to make sure that the roads are safe and that you can go out and enjoy riding your bikes, your skateboards, your scooters, and make sure that you have fun. Have a great day, everyone. <laughs>